making animation videos with MovieStorm animation software. I am researching to determine if there is any animation software that can meet my video storytelling needs. MovieStorm may be the software title. I like it so far. I need to point out that I am also new to MovieStorm. This video, and any others I may add to this series, is just a way to share my initial experiences with people who are also searching for animation software that can meet their needs. The way I show you the features and capabilities and the order in which I perform tasks may not be the best practices for MovieStorm. Please visit their website, link below, to see the many training videos they have, and to get your own copy of the trial version of MovieStorm. MovieStorm animation software is a relatively easy way to get into storytelling through animation. This is the startup interface. They have a nice selection of pre-built sets to choose from, as well as a selection of completed movie scenes. Use the example sets, and scenes, to see how your animation can be built, step by step, until you have a completed animation title. What we're looking at now is the selection of completed scenes. Now, let's look at a blank set, and begin to build our scene. The large icons at the top, center, are where you select set workshop view, dressing room view, director's view, camera work view, cutting room view, publisher's view and the script editor. We will begin to build our scene in set workshop view. The bottom left corner, is where you find the menus for choosing what set element you want to work on. We now have a wall, and we can customize that wall to suit our needs. Okay. I have saved my progress so far, which includes a brick wall in one window. That, is the inside section of the wall. Now, I need to add some exterior details and props. This is a basic selection list of some of the props, and design elements, that will be available for you to include in your set. I want to place a tree so it will be visible through the window from the inside. Resizing the tree. Here is how you move props around your set, and, how you can resize, or scale, the props as needed.
After, I reduced the size of this tree, I realized I wanted to move it to a better location. This is how you move props around on the set. Now I have a tree outside, where I have chosen. One last adjustment to the tree, and I'm ready to do my floors, and the outside grounds. Again, you select from the menu at the bottom left, to make a floor for your set. And, the same method, to make grass for the outside of this scene. more windows. I got rid of the tree and, instead, I'm adding a building and some shrubs outside the window. Resizing the building And, now, the shrub. Placing and aligning the shrubs.
Next, I will add props inside, and I'll start to work with my cast of characters.